Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Brittany. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two babies, three and under. Today I'm going to be running through with you guys how I maintain a productive morning routine with babies while also running my small business from home. I hope you guys like this video. Oh my gosh, it is 6.25 in the morning. I'm up right now. I'm checking the monitor to see. These kids are still sleeping, which they are, thank the Lord. 6.25 right now, I need to get a workout in. That is my plan right now. I'm about to chug some pre-workout because your girl is dead, dead tired. I think I slept. Oh my gosh, like our cabinet looks like it's our cabinet, like this big, huge. Oh, maybe that's supposed to be like that. It just looks like it's sticking out of the wall so much that it. Anyways, I'm about to check some pre workout and work out because I need to work out. Uh... So, for me, waking up first thing in the morning and getting my workout in is crucial to my productivity for the day, especially on work days. And yes, I do shoot my pre workout straight like that, no chaser. And I enjoy doing different circuits of workouts. And like I said, this just really helps put my mind in the right place and it just gets those endorphins pumping. And it's something that I really love incorporating into my morning routine and something that I definitely make a priority. 7.30 right now. I just got in 30. Come on, Apple Watch. Straight minutes. I burned 256 calories. So pretty good. Ran a mile. Got my four rounds of workout in. I'm out of breath. I am going to meditate for like five minutes. I like to do that in the morning. It just sets the tone for the day. And I'm going to shower and get ready for these kids. So whenever I'm showering or getting myself ready in the morning, I usually like listening to podcasts or different like motivational speakers on YouTube. I don't always put makeup on in the morning. Sometimes I'll manage to put on my eyelashes, but that's pretty much the extent of it. So if you see me with eyelashes and my hair done, then you know that I've had a productive morning for me. Okay, so this is my basic mom look today. Let's go and get these babies. You want some milk? This particular day was a preschool day, so I definitely had to get the kids up and dressed so that we could get out the door to get Novali to preschool on time. And if you know anything about having a little baby, you know that they are incredibly difficult to get dressed and keep still at this stage. TJ's 14 months and he's everywhere. Hi. Hi. Let's go get Sissy. Good morning. <laughs> Novali will be four this fall in just a few weeks and we're practicing a lot of independence with her so she really enjoys getting her own clothes on and putting toothpaste on her toothbrush and then with my assistance I will brush her teeth after but sometimes we've been feeling a lot of big emotions so I try to help her through them the best I can. You get to go to the new school today. Why do you want to stay here? Aww, we'll go do something fun after school, okay? Some days I really struggle with how I show up for my toddler. Being three years old can be super overwhelming and it's hard for me sometimes to make sure that I'm getting all of her emotional needs met, but every day I show up and I try. So if you're in the same boat, just know that you're doing the best that you can and that we all have our struggles that we're working through. 
after the kids are all dressed, we all head downstairs and I get their breakfast ready. Usually they eat the same thing. It's either toast or a waffle with peanut butter and some sort of fruit. And I get them set up at the table so that they can eat. And this particular day, I didn't pack Nova's preschool lunch. So I needed to go ahead and make that as well. And her preschool is a nut free school. So we have been using sunflower butter sandwiches as opposed to peanut butter. And let me just tell you, this girl can definitely taste the difference because she does not always eat her food. On a normal day, one way that I would be more productive is to already have lunches packed the night before, but on this particular day, I don't really know what happened or why I didn't have this already done, but this definitely took me about 10 minutes to whip together, so it was super fast. All right, so I just went and got coffee because um, needed that. Oh my gosh, the bags into my eyes are something fierce. Dropped Nova off at school. It's 10 a.m. right now. I'm praying that TJ goes down in 30 minutes. I'm gonna go and play the heck out of him and like make him tired because then I have a solid hour to just kind of like get work done and get stuff done that I need to with the business. I have a few cups that I need to like prep and paint and then I've got a Christmas design and I'm losing Buddy, so let's go. <laughs> One thing that's very nice about preschool days is that we do get this uninterrupted one-on-one -on -one time to play around and TJ is 14 months and he's still not walking so I started using this bouncy ball to help strengthen his core muscles. We do about 10 to 15 minutes of practice a day and we just get all of those wiggles out. literally just laid TJ down for a nap. I have to make myself something to eat because your girl did not have time to make breakfast this morning. <sighs> I don't even know what I want, um, but I think I'm just gonna make something simple like some bacon and eggs or something. And then I take this time for like dedicated work. Like I turn my phone, like I don't get on social media, like I turn on YouTube or something on the TV and I just like get to work while he's sleeping because I have like a solid hour and a half before I have to start like getting lunch ready and getting ready to leave again to go and pick up Nova. So I'm gonna go and do that now. So I definitely go ahead and get my Cricut set up. I turn the laptop on and I just get everything out that I need to work on. And one thing I like to do is write out a to-do list so that I know what I need to tackle. And this really helps me stay on track and stay focused. Does nap time ever work out the way we want? No, gotta go get the man. So if you're still watching and you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you guys went ahead and hit the like button on this video and make sure that you're subscribed and press the little bell so that you don't miss any video uploads from me. If you don't already know, I run a small Etsy business where I make custom vinyl tumblers as well as other personalized gifts like t-shirts and coffee mugs and that kind of thing. So I usually will decide whether or not today is a glitter day or a vinyl day and on this particular day it was vinyl. So while vinyl cuts in my Cricut, I try to get things cleaned up around my house as much as I can in between weeding different designs like this right here. I will try and get the kitchen cleaned up, get the dishes put away, dinner prepped, bathrooms cleaned, whatever I need to do in between waiting for my Cricut to cut out all of the pieces that I needed to cut out. If you are a mom who runs a small business, I would love it if you guys would comment down below and introduce yourself and let me know what kind of business you run at, and if you work out of your home or if you have an office space or something like that. I really love getting to know you guys and this has been such a fun transition for me. I've only left my corporate style job just a few weeks ago so this has definitely been so much fun and I've just been loving all of the extra time I get to spend with my babies. It's definitely a blessing that I don't take for granted. All right guys, so it is 11.55 right now. I packed up the last two of my orders. TJ basically didn't sleep. He kind of like... 
The kid basically didn't sleep. That is basically our morning. Um, so now I have 30 minutes. I'm gonna get him some lunch and then we're gonna head out and go and get sister from school. She gets out at 1.30, but I need to stop at the post office and drop those off. It's just easier for me to do that before I get her. So I allot myself like an extra 25 minutes just to throw that in there. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, please. And make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos from me. I am planning on doing more of these day in the life of a stay-at-home mom with a small business so make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss any of that and I will catch you guys in the next video bye